Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you're visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have not already guessed by the title today, I'm going to be filming 10 fragrances for 10 different occasions. Now I've seen varying different versions of this video on YouTube, but I have selected 10 different occasions and I have matched them to 10 fragrances that I think suit those specific occasions. So if you like the sound of that, then please do keep on watching. Now, before we get started on the video content, I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel. Of course, it really helps me out, but only do so if you enjoy my content. But before we get started on the video, I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and I will continue making fragrance content like this in the future. Plus, I would also love it if you could join me over on Instagram. I've popped my handle on the screen. I just love chatting to everyone over in the DMs. Plus, I regularly put stories out asking what YouTube content I should film next. Now I have that part out of the way, let's get started on the 10 different fragrances for 10 different occasions. So the first occasion would be a vacation slash holiday fragrance. And this is an area that I don't have too many fragrances that suit the vibe in my opinion, but there was one that definitely came to mind and that is none other than Ylang in Gold by M. Mikalef. And firstly, can we take a moment for the bottle? This is actually one of the special edition bottles. You can actually get a clear version that has the little gold sparkles in there too. I think both are absolutely gorgeous. But we're not talking about the bottle here, we're talking about the scent. And the reason why I picked this as my perfect vacation fragrance is because it has this really beautiful tropical quality to it. And I would definitely take this on a beach holiday. It has really prominent Ylang Ylang notes, which makes sense because this is called Ylang in gold. But I also do get a very prominent banana note within here, which isn't specifically listed within the notes. It just has fruity notes. This to me smells like I'm sat on a hot and sunny beach there are yellow florals all around, specifically ylang ylang, but maybe some waxy yellow florals too. And you can smell them in the air, specifically like the breeze as it flows past you. And I'm drinking some type of tropical cocktail that is filled with coconut water, but it also has lots of banana. That is kind of the vibe I get from this. And I think it is so unique because I don't have any other fragrances within my collection that kind of have that type of vibe. It does have other fruity notes like peach, lychee and tangerine, but I really do get more of a prominent banana type of note. It kind of smells like pina colada, but there are some like juicy banana chunks within that pina colada, if that makes any sense at all. The dry down is absolutely gorgeous. It has a prominent note of sandalwood and you definitely pick up a kind of minty note in there too, but it is definitely very much in the background. I just think this is so suitable for a vacation or holiday holiday scent. I will add though, I would wear this all year round, not just specifically for holidays and vacations, but I wanted to add this as my vacation pick. And the next category is formal occasions. And what I mean by formal is maybe it's a black tie event, it could be a Christmas party, but it is something that you are dressed up to the nines in, you've got your best outfit on, and I just envision it to be more of a black tie occasion. And the scent I've picked for that is YSL's Libre Le Parfum. And the reason why I've picked Libre is I think this is an ultra classy fragrance. It's very inoffensive and I think it's extremely timeless. I personally absolutely love Libre Lee, but I think any Libres could work for a formal occasion. I love the prominent note of orange blossom, but Libre Lee has ginger, saffron, and honey added to it, and I think that just makes it ultra alluring. It's not super sexy, I just think it's very classy and very mass appealing. But when I say mass appealing, I don't mean it's a generic scent by any means, I just think lots of people would like this one and I think it is totally suitable for a formal event. So yeah, YSL Libra is a classy one and I would wear this to a formal event. Now the third occasion would be a special occasion, and this could mean so many different things to different people. But the way I see special occasion is something like an anniversary, maybe like an engagement party, or something really special like my mother's 50, 60th birthday. And the fragrance I have picked for that category would be Initio's Atomic Rose. 
And I absolutely adore this scent. It's definitely a special occasion scent for me. So I nearly wore this on the day I got engaged, but I actually picked Delina, but it falls within that category personally. And Atomic Rose is very special to me. And that is why I think it suits this occasion perfectly. What I mostly get from it is rose and pink pepper. It's quite deep and I always say I feel like it is Delina's deep and darker sexy sister. It also has bergamot, jasmine, amber and vanilla, but mostly it is a pink pepper rose fragrance and I am a rose girl. I specifically like peppery roses as you can probably tell if you've watched my videos before, but I think Atomic Rose is a bit of a showstopper and it will get you attention. So I think it is perfect for a special occasion. And the next occasion is bridal. And this could be you are getting married yourself and you are the bride, or it could be that you are one of the special bridal party. And I found this category quite hard to pick for because I myself am trying to pick a bridal scent at the moment and I am struggling. And I wanted to pick something that I don't talk about as often. So the fragrance of choice would be Zerjoff's Dama Bianca. And this is such a soft, classic vanilla fragrance, perfect for a bride in my opinion, and it is timeless and classy. It's a musky, powdery vanilla and features notes of iris, violet, vanilla, and musk but it also has some citruses up top. But I just think this is such an inoffensive scent. You're gonna smell absolutely delicious. It's not too in your face. So if you're a bride that wants something really bold and out there, this one probably isn't gonna be for you. But if you like a soft and musky iris-based vanilla, I'd highly recommend you checking out Dama Bianca because I do think this is a timeless classic that you can have in your perfume wardrobe for years to come. So it's a little bit of a different choice for me, but I think this would suit lots of different types of bride. So yeah, Zerjoff Dama Bianca is my bridal pick. The next occasion is brunch with the girls, or it could be day out slash day drinking with the girls, whatever you would prefer. And this one I found pretty easy to pick. And it's another brand that I featured already within this categories list. And that is none other than M. Michalef Note Vinny. And this is newer to my collection, but I fell head over heels for this one. And I have been reaching for this so much. My partner compliments me on this and he rarely compliments me on fragrances, probably because I wear so many different ones, but Note Vene is truly special. And I think it's perfect for a day out with the girls. I think this is quite a gooey, boozy vanilla. It's pretty dense, but at the same time, transparent, if that makes any sense. It's not too heady at all. So it obviously has vanilla in there, but it also has rum and cognac, which gives it that boozy element. And then I kind of get like a caramelized finish to the scent too. It reminds me a little bit of Insulo by Jerombeaume and Javoy's Fire at Will, but this one to me is a little bit more complex. It has some citruses up top like mandarin, which gives it this kind of transparency that I was referring to. And then it has a slight nuance of florals in there. But the thing that makes this dry down so gorgeous is the amber and the sandalwood in the base. It truly is a vanilla scent. Everything else is kind of in the background, but it all adds up to be the most delicious vanilla and you are gonna smell good if you are going out with the girls. And that's why I think this is the perfect pick for that occasion. So yeah, my pick for brunch with the girls or drinks with the girls or whatever you wanna do with the girls is Note Vinny by M. Nicolette. So the next category is clubbing, which is something that I definitely do not do but I used to do, so I tried to think of a fragrance that would be fitting for that occasion. And it could be you're going out late at night until let's say the early hours of the morning dancing or you're going to a proper club. And I thought about what I used to wear for those types of occasions. And I decided to pick a true classic within my perfume wardrobe, something that I've had in my collection for years and years. And that is Tom Ford's Velvet Orchid. Now I nearly picked Black Orchid, but I think Velvet Orchid was one that I used to wear a lot more than Black Orchid. Although I do like Black Orchid, I know it's not for everyone. Whereas I feel like Velvet Orchid could work for more people. This is definitely a loud and in your face scent and definitely something that I would have worn on a night out drinking. It has rum, honey, citruses, rose, vanilla orchid, of course, myrrh, suede, and sandalwood. And it is definitely a loud fragrance. 
I don't reach for this one as much anymore, but if you wanna be the center of attention, I think this one will definitely grab people's attention. Have any of you tried Velvet Orchid? This really does give me a throwback moment because I wore this so much. The juice line is right down here. So yeah, I thought this was the perfect pick for me personally for the night clubbing occasion. The next occasion would be an everyday scent slash a signature scent. And I did find this one quite challenging to pick because I don't really have a signature scent as such, but I do have some that I reach for more than others. And I think I have about three in my collection that I felt would be suitable for this occasion. And the one I decided to pick was Mason Francis Kirk de Jean Gentle Fluidity Gold. And I sat on this one for so long and I recently did add it to my collection and this is signature scent worthy in my opinion. It is such a gorgeous fragrance and I think signature scent worthy. It's not going to offend anyone which is why I've put it down as an everyday scent. It's a beautiful kind of soft vanilla, but it also has like juniper berries, coriander and woodsy notes. The vanilla is definitely front stage and center of this fragrance, but I think the woodsy notes definitely come out in the dry down and you get that beautiful kind of soft amber note too. So this one was a love at first sniff for me. I don't know if you saw my video where I talked about love at first sniff fragrances. So I think this is totally appropriate for an everyday fragrance and signature scent worthy. The next occasion and probably my favorite occasion within the list is date night. And I have three fragrances that I think are totally appropriate for this occasion, but I've picked one that I haven't spoken about yet on my channel other than in my wishlist video, and that is Zerjos Le Capitel. And I recently added this to my collection after months, if not years of lusting after, and I'm so glad I now have it. Now the other two fragrances that I probably would have put in this category would be Stefan Humbert Lucas Venom Incarnate and So Oud Ilum. But I think Le Capitel is the one that would get you the most compliments because it's the least challenging out of the three and it's a little bit softer. But wow, this is a sexy fragrance in my opinion. It has notes of strawberry, caramel, peach, leather and saffron. And really what I get from it is kind of like a strawberry and leather based fragrance. It definitely has a transparency to it again, so it's not too heavy on the wear and the sillage is absolutely breathtaking. It has a really gorgeous note of ginger, which is very subtle, but definitely detectable. And it also has amber and vanilla. But like I said, I mostly get strawberry and leather, but the caramel is definitely very prominent too. This is very Moorish and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So I think this is totally date night appropriate and I had to pick it for this occasion. The next occasion is work. Now this could be everyday work, it could be a job interview. And I think this also works as an everyday scent too. But when I think about work, I think I wanna smell good, but I don't necessarily wanna be noticed by the whole office. And that's just my personal preference. And I have two fragrances that were totally appropriate for this, but I wanna speak about the one that I talk about less on my channel. And it is none other than Glossier You. And I don't have much left in this. I do reach for it a lot. And I think this is totally appropriate because you are gonna smell really beautiful when you wear this one, but it's not necessarily gonna fill the whole room. You're just gonna smell very clean and fresh. In essence, it's a powdery musky fragrance with a beautiful note of iris. And iris can be really hit or miss for me, but this is done so beautifully. It's almost like a vanilla-y soft powdery iris. And yeah, I reach for this when I don't know what else to wear, as an everyday scent, but also to go to work. And specifically things like work conferences or job interviews, I think this will be totally appropriate for. This is extremely affordable. I haven't checked the pricing lately, but I think it was about 45 pounds when I did buy it. And I actually think the bottle is really cute. If you're into the clean girl aesthetic, you definitely need Glossier U in your collection too. But I think this is definitely a perfect work fragrance. So the last category is a bed scent. And yes, you heard that right. I said a bed scent and I am totally one of those people that puts on a fragrance for bed. And I have quite a few different ones that I do wear for this specific occasion. I like that I call going to bed slash sleeping an occasion. 
And the one that I decided to go for is the one I've been reaching for the most for bedtime, slash if I just wanna be cozy and I'm chilling watching TV or something like that. And it is none other than Tio Cabanel's Je ne sais quoi. And this one I find so addictive. It is the most beautiful kind of rice pudding fragrance. This one smells so realistic to me. I don't know how they quite got that rice note so spot on, but it also has a matcha note in here too. It's not too prominent. It just smells like a very creamy lactonic rice pudding. It could almost be like a matcha latte, but it's very soft. It has sandalwood, guyac wood, and vetiver in the base. But for me personally, I mostly pick out that creamy rice note. I think it's ultra, ultra addictive. For me personally, you have to absolutely enjoy kind of tea fragrances or those kind of softer based fragrances. It is one of the most unique fragrances in my collection, 100%. And it's why I wanted to include it as a bed scent because I have lots of other ones that I've spoken about more on my channel. However, I think Je ne sais quoi actually deserves the limelight a lot more because I think it is such a unique composition and truly addictive. Highly recommend getting a sample of this one if you've not tried it already because yeah, like I said, I think it's a standout. So yeah, that was Tio Cabanel Je ne sais quoi. So that was my roundup of the 10 different fragrances I would pick for 10 different occasions. I could have added a few other occasions in, but they didn't quite fill me. Like I was thinking gym scent, but I don't go to the gym, so it didn't feel appropriate. Although I say that and I don't go clubbing, but they are the 10 occasions I picked and I hope you enjoyed the video. Were there any fragrances within this list that you absolutely love? Please do let me know down in the comments or feel free to let me know some of the occasions you would pick and the fragrances you would match with that occasion. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. I will continue making content like this in the future, but I hope to see you all soon. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.